Okay, what we're going to look at is how to edit an accounts code in Xero. It's your chart of accounts, so don't be afraid to make changes if you need to. So we're going to go to settings and we're going to choose chart of accounts. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to choose a code that I don't like the description of and I'm going to change it. I'm going to find a code that's got printing in it. I'm going to use the search box so then I can search on the word printing. And then I find a code that's called printing and stationery. To edit, all I need to do is click on the blue and that takes us into the edit box. Now all I'm going to do is change the name of it. We don't actually do any printing. So I'm going to remove that and I'm going to add in stationery and office supplies because that just makes more sense for what we need. I'll change the description as well. You don't have to, but it just tidies it up. So we're going to say expenses incurred on stationery and office supplies. So now if you purchase a stapler, you're not thinking where do I code that because you've got a code that includes office supplies so it's easy enough knowing where to put it. Tax, we're quite happy that the default code is 20% because that's what we expect for office supplies. Show on dashboard watch list, we would tick that if it was a code that we wanted to track how much money we're spending and it would appear on our dashboard. We're not going to need that in this case. Show an expense claims. Now that's been ticked because that means that you have employees who are entering their own expenses possibly and they want that code to be available. In other words, you might have an employee who goes to Tesco and buys some A4 paper and would be inputting as expenses. So when they input their expenses, the, this code would appear on a drop down menu for them. So that's why it's ticked there. Enable payments to this account. It's very rare that that's ticked. That's only really ticked for things like director's loan. So we're going to leave that. We're happy with that and we're just going to choose save. So if you've got a chart of accounts and there's anything that you're not happy with, just go ahead and make the changes. Mm -hmm.